my marriage name. Ma'am, I'm Michelle McDonald. I've been practicing law for 26 years. Will and you're you? arresting me for no reason. For the third time. I want to go to a judge right now and take a breathalyzer. Thank you very much. Yes, yes or no question. For Thank the third you time. very much. Will you take the breath test? I want to go before a judge. He says, will you take a breath test? There's nothing about anything about in front of a judge or anything like that. Will you take a breath test? I will take one, yes, before a judge. No. Because I have a right to go to a magistrate. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, we'll take it as a refusal then. Unless you want to take a breath test right here. No, I'm taking it before a judge. Okay, it is 8-24-2014, 8-28pm, calling uh, Rosemont City Council member Vanessa DeMuth. Is this Councilmember DeMuth? Yes, it is. This is Terry Nemers. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Well, I'm doing super. Can't complain on a beautiful, sunshiny day like today. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't catch your name. Uh, Nemers? Terry Nemers? Terry Nemers? Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I okay. just sent you, the mayor, and every other council member uh, an email. It's uh, part of a implied consent of an inv individual who is in custody of your Rosemont police. Uh, it's still an open case. I'm not going to tell you the name so because I, I know you can't discuss open cases. But I just want to ask you some general questions. It, uh, okay. This woman uh, was in their custody and uh, she repeatedly asked to go see a judge. And pursuant to Minnesota Statute uh, 169.91, any person who demands to see a judge is supposed to be immediately taken in front of a judge. Well, this woman asked repeatedly uh, to be taken to a judge, and your officers willfully refused to take her to see a judge. What time of the day was it? Well, was it the weekend? I mean, what were the circumstances? Well, it was late at night. It doesn't make any uh, reference to time of day. It says if you're under, if you are placed under arrest and you ask to see a judge, you're supposed to be taken to see a judge. Courts are supposed to be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, just like the police. You know, it's a nonstop okay. operation, so they have every right to, you know, go see a judge. Uh, you know, I, I've been victimized like this myself. You know, in in a different city. You know, I asked to see a judge, and, it, you know, the advantage for this woman was she at least got her evidence. My evidence was illegally withheld, and it's still being illegally withheld. So, you know, that's the thing. I mean, that's one reason why I'm interested in this situation, you know, because there's actual physical proof. There's digital audio recording of this woman telling your law enforcement officers that she wants to go see a judge and they willfully refuse to do that. So, you know, I'm okay. trying to think. Okay, this is all new to me. When did this happen? Uh, it actually happened about uh, over a year ago. And I, I sent you uh, the video. You've got the link to it. It has, uh, the video has the links to a blog which has all the information on it, when the arrest was and that type of thing. So you can, you can look into it because like I said, you know, you know, this is, I, I know you can't discuss specifics, you know, because things how it's an open well, case. I, I can't discuss it because I know nothing about it. So well, I have nothing to say, but... Well, the, um, th the thing is... But uh, you, just sent, you just sent me an email now? Yes, I did. Okay, all right, sorry, okay. So, I'm yeah. I'm in a place right now where I can't get email, but... Um, well, that's, that, I'm not asking you to, to address the specifics of it. That's why I'm just asking you... In general, you know, why aren't your officers following the law? Because, I mean, they are law enforcement officers. And according to the law, it says that this woman has a right to go see a judge. doesn't matter what time of day, whether it's a holiday, a weekend. She just has a right to do it. And she's, you know, pretty exasperated because she keeps on asking. And I, I know how she felt because I was put in a similar situation. And how did she, I've never heard of this, how did she know that she 
Well, the thing is, she just happens. Yeah, she happens to be a lawyer. I didn't. I'm not a lawyer, and I knew that. So, okay. the the point is, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter whether she's a lawyer. She's not a lawyer. And of course, it, I guess it's a little more glaring seeing how she is a lawyer, and they're just, you know, they don't care that she's a lawyer, and still not going to take her in front of a judge. You know, uh, apparently the laws okay. only apply one way. You know, if if you know. Only one people have to. One person has to follow the law, and that's apparently her, not the police. Your police, who feel that they're above the law, you know, when they willfully refuse to take her in front of a judge. So they took her into custody. And yes. Take her to the judge. So that, when they took her to custody, they took her to the county jail. Is that what they, they they're at their your police station in Rosemont. There. It it okay. it you'll the videos has the actual. Uh, implied consent where she's speaking with the officer on it so you can hear exactly play by play, play what's going on it, it's okay. edited you know so it's it's not the it's quite a long thing I I just put okay. on the part so, where... okay so your question to me I think is why are the police in Rosemont not following the law it, it, that's exactly it that's the question okay, yes why it are is call you back on this phone number that you called me on? Well, I'll give you my contact phone number, which is 320-283-5713. Yes, 5713. Okay, 320-283-5713. Correct, correct. Okay, and, and it's Terry, and could you just spell your last name, N-E? N-E, M as in Mary, M as in uh -huh. Mary. E R S. Okay. Just so, like it. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. All right. Well, okay. the the problem is uh, your city attorney is Dan Flugel, correct? The city attorney is who? Dan Flugel. Um. Yes. That's yeah. One, yeah. I suppose for these cases. Right. And right. Well, we, I'm, we have we have a lot of attorneys, unfortunately, that we have to work with. <laughs> we have all, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, Excuse me, that's my opinion too. So, but anyhow, uh, I've I've dealt with Mr. Flugel. He's illegal withholding some information on this same lady. He actually prosecuted her for uh, taking a picture in the courthouse there, and and um, that was a Hastings case, not City of Rosemont, though. So uh, I've had some dealings with him, and he's uh, he's crooked as a dog's hind leg. Let's put it that way. So. Okay. So um, I, I presume once you speak with him, he will tell you never to speak with me ever again. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, I have no. I don't want. I don't want to talk to him. Then I guess I would. Um, my first course is I always go to the city administrator, Dwight Johnson. Okay. And find out what he knows about complaints like this. I've never had one actually relate to the police department before. So. Um, was she a little bit different. Did you know that we have a brand new police chief too? I don't know if you ever talked to the old police chief. Uh, I, I, no, I didn't. I, this okay, is. A... We have a new police chief. He just started this week. Okay, that's fine. It, it's, right. it's just that this is uh, something that actually happened again last year sometime. I think it was April of last year, and so, but okay. the, but I just recently, within the last few months, received the this uh, audio and uh, I just got the opportunity to put it online so you know people can see what's going on there so all right so when you asked so when you asked Dan Flugel why our police officers didn't take you to see, see the judge what was his oh no 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 I I never spoke to him about this case I spoke oh, to him okay. about a previous case which I was asking okay. for information on some data which she's still illegally withholding from me. Uh, this woman, uh, she's a high-profile lawyer. She's She's been bucking the system, you might say. And uh, in that other case, her camera was taken from her and is still being illegally withheld from her. And I was trying to get the some of the pictures off of the camera, seeing so um, it's in still in possession of actually Dakota County. But the case was prosecuted out of Hastings. But uh, he made the wild and outrageous claim that it was given back to Michelle. Oh, oops, I don't don't want to say her name, but uh, it's Michelle McDonald. I'll tell you that anyhow. 
But so anyhow, uh, he was making these wild and outrageous claims that the the camera was returned to her, and I actually have documentation indicating from her that the the camera was never returned, and she's still trying to get it back. So at least the last last I know of. So so I mean, there's there's all sorts of corruption going on there, and and the reason why the camera was taken is because the the judge well the, the judge uh, Knutson ordered an illegal search of the camera too so I'm sure that's why the camera is not being returned anyhow so I mean there, there's all sorts of things going on in your county and your city that I think you need to be looking into so Overwhelming, Although, sure. Sure. Out of your, uh, my comfort zone, actually, I've just got to let you know. Um, I, oops, hello? Yeah, I'm still hello? here. I'm still oh, here. Sorry. Yep. Oh, I just have another call coming in. Uh, I've been ignored. Um, I've been a council member for a year, year and a half, and um, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe if you uh, had a similar conversation with the mayor. Well, I tried to get a hold of the mayor, but I just received a, a voicemail, so you're at not yeah. the first person I tried to contact, actually. So, okay, so, uh, all right. Because um, he, you know, he's been at this for, I think, 12 years. Well, that, that doesn't <laughs> so mean that you... have seen everything. Well, that um, doesn't mean that he's the right person to talk to either, so, you know... Uh, the thing is, the person I talk to is the person I need to talk to. So I, I happen to get a hold of you, so you're the right person. So, so anyhow, uh, the, there's some background information that if you go to the video on the video, there's links to the to a blog, and it's got uh, the current what I'm speaking about with the the Michelle McDonald, you know, asking to see a judge, and there's links to the other uh, incident where um, the camera incident and uh, my dealings with Mr. Flugel, so you can research that at your leisure too. So, But um, okay. uh, you know, I, if you contact your city administrator, that's fine. And then if you could call me back, I would appreciate it so I know what's going on. And I would presume that as soon as you talk to him, you're probably gonna be told not to talk to me anyhow, so. Well, I've uh, sent some emails. I've actually got your policy and procedure manual for the police, so okay. I, you know, so I'm I'm aware of some of the policies and procedures. So I guess I'm just thinking that a natural like this happened a year ago. That if you brought this to the city administrator's attention and the attorney's attention and the police chief's attention, and there's you know, then they would say, okay, these officers didn't follow the law and then they would have to um i guess remind everybody in the department what they are required to do well actually in that situation and there's no no one said that they were going to talk to these officers you said it sounded like there was more than one officer involved with this woman well yeah there was more than one officer and actually she filed a complaint and it was ignored or it was um what they call it uh, uh they weren't going to follow through on it you know, no one was punished for it. So, and that's the, that another another example of you know two different sets of laws. You know, you know she has clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence of misconduct, and they just ignore it. So, so uh, it's not like she hasn't. And again, she's an attorney, so it's not like she hasn't um, tried to follow the you know the prescribed path. And that's why I'm contacting you, and that's why I put that information up on the internet so the world can see what's actually going on there. And so, you know, it, right. that's that's why you don't know anything about it because they don't want you to know anything about right. it, and that's why you need to dig into it. So. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I will do what I said. I will contact White. Okay. And um, I will call you back. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. You prefer a phone call? I, I actually, I would prefer a phone call. I mean, I, I've actually sent you an email and I've called you. I would expect that at minimum you could call me back. So. Phone call. Sure. Yes. Okay. All right, Terry. Okay. I will look into it. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Right. Yep. Yep. Have a nice time, Yep. You too. Bye now.